What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top kitchen appliances to make healthy plant-based recipes. These are some of the kitchen appliances that I use on a daily basis when I'm cooking my healthy vegan recipes. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And let's just get right into this video. My number one kitchen tool that you need to have to start cooking is just a really good knife and a cutting board. <laughs> this is so basic, but I wanted to start out really simple. I love this cutting board because it's nice and big, so when I'm chopping stuff, it doesn't like roll off the sides. And this is the best knife I've ever owned. It is a Shun Classic Santoku 7 inch. The handle is called like the blonde handle, but you can use any kitchen knife. You don't need this Shun one. I just really love it. Any knife is good as long as you keep it really sharp. Also, keeping it sort of basic to start out with. <sighs> My next top kitchen appliance or tool is a cast iron skillet. I cook with this almost every day. This is just a lodge skillet. I think you can get it off Amazon. And they say that a good cast iron skillet will last like a lifetime. This is pretty much non-stick as long as you keep it well seasoned. I'm no cast iron expert, but you basically just rub oil on it and then bake it in the oven and it'll form this like non-stick coating. So I can cook tofu in here and it doesn't even stick. I cook vegan pancakes in here, um, tempeh, like vegetable, stir fry. Yeah, I just wanted to share these like very basic tools first. Up next on this list is my beloved Vitamix. This is a turbo speed, no, turbo blend two speed this is like one of the or if not the cheapest Vitamix that they sell I don't even know if they sell this version anymore but I got this like 10 or 11 years ago for my birthday and it has held up super well it still works great I use this like every day multiple times a day um, I do want to eventually get a variable speed but this one still works great, so I'm not gonna update quite yet. Anyways, I use this to make smoothies, um, nut-based dressings. I blend up some nuts and seeds and some vinegar, seasonings, garlic, and I make my own dressings for salads. I also use this to make like nacho cheese dip or any other like sauces, like Alfredo sauce. You can blend up um, some carrots, and nuts and seeds, some other veggies, and make like a nacho cheese sauce. So I do that all the time. I'll blend up soup in here to make like a creamy soup. So yeah, I use this. This is probably the most used appliance I use in my house. I use this like multiple times a day. Oh, you can also mill um, your own oats into flour. <laughs> make my own oat flour in this anytime I wanna bake. And I also grind up my own coffee in here. If you buy the whole beans, you can just blend them up in your Vitamix and make your own ground coffee, freshly ground. And oh, I also grind up flax seeds in here and chia seeds to make ground flax and chia seeds. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely the plants I use the most. And these are actually, these are very expensive if you aren't familiar but I think it is so worth the investment because I've gone through so many Nutribullets in my day and they just kind of die after like two years. They don't really, the motors don't really like have that long of a lifespan, especially if you're using it every day like I am. Um, but I, I do like Nutribullets. They just don't really last that long. Oh, I've also used a Blendtec blender and this is not sponsored, I just love my Vitamix. <laughs> the Blendtec doesn't have this little plunger, so you use this and you can squish everything down so it doesn't get like stuck to the sides. Oh, I use this also to make um, banana ice cream. You put some frozen bananas or other frozen fruit and you can make your own ice cream. So yeah, this is number one on my list for sure. I love my Vitamix. Next up on my list 
You guys probably guessed it because I have like 50 videos about this. <laughs> this is my Instant Pot. This is my next most used appliance. Um, next to my Vitamix, I use my Instant Pot like several times a week. I actually have two Instant Pots. This is the Duo Mini 3 quart, and I use this mostly for making quinoa, other grains, lentils, beans, chickpeas. Um, I'll make like a huge batch of all those things and then keep them in my fridge for the week um, for like meal prep. So that's why I bought two Instant Pots so that I can make like a massive amount of food at once and then meal prep it. Um, oh, I've also made yogurt in here and veggie broth. I make veggie broth in here. That's pretty much it and soups. But yeah, I use this like maybe every other day to cook a recipe and I use it mostly for meal prepping. I also love my Instant Pots. I don't think I could live without them. I wasn't sure if I should include this one because I don't, it's definitely not necessary, but I do use this like sort of regularly. I, this is my juicer. It is a Huron slow juicer and it crushes the juice instead of, or vegetables, instead of spinning. Um, it has like a slow auger, I think it's called. And I put this, I included this in this video because you can also make your own nut milks out of this juicer um, by just putting water and any type of nuts through it. It'll make fresh nut milks. So I thought I'd include this in this video because I go through so much nut milk. <laughs> so this could be super handy for you to have in your plant-based kitchen if you also drink a lot of nut milk. <laughs> you can also make your own soy milk and then it came with a press like block to make your own tofu. And the Huram juicer also comes with this ice cream strainer so you can put frozen fruit in and it makes ice cream. I've only tried this a couple times and I think it's easier just to use my Vitamix, but I think it's cool that they include that. And of course you can make all kinds of veggie juice. I make green juice in this pretty regularly, but I go through phases. I think it's a lot easier just to make a green smoothie in the Vitamix than it is to clean all these parts, but yeah, you can make any kind of fruit and veggie juice with this juicer as well. My last kitchen appliance that I use sometimes, actually not all the time, is my food processor. I actually don't use this very often, but when I do use it, it is super handy. I mostly use this for making these little like date, nut, no bake, cookie balls, super random. <laughs> like you don't need, a, I don't think anybody like needs a food processor, especially if you have a Vitamix, but it is um, handy when I make these date nut balls. <laughs> oh, I also use it for, um, you can shred vegetables in the little shredding attachment. You can shred, so actually that is very handy. You can shred like carrots, zucchini, beets for a recipe um and the other thing i use this for is making veggie burgers like i'll blend up um beans with some oats um onion and like spices and make my own veggie burgers the other recipe i make in my food processor pretty regularly is falafel the food processor is great to have for certain recipes because the blender will grind up things too finely and so you kind of need the food processor for certain recipes. So yeah, that is it for this video. Those are my top recommended kitchen appliances that I use all the time for my vegan recipes. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And let me know what kitchen appliances you use all the time in your cooking. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.